Got a couple of hunting knives I want to share with you guys. I, uh, about a week ago, picked these knives up, got them off of Amazon. They are made by Lone Wolf. Lone Wolf knives, I just learned, U.S. made. This is the number of the combo pack. Lone Wolf knives was purchased by Benchmade. From what I understand, Benchmade and Lone Wolf Knives, their factories were about 15 miles apart out, I think, in Beaverton, Oregon. And I don't know, a few years ago or whatever, Benchmade actually bought Lone Wolf. So, you know, I've kind of been getting into knives. I was on the hunt for a, a nice hunting fixed blade knife, something a little unique. And I was looking at a a caping knife. It was the first knife I was looking for. And uh, whenever I was in my travels looking around, I came across these combo sets by Lone Wolf. So I started doing just a little bit of background on Lone Wolf and learned what little bit that I have learned and decided to give them a try. So I did purchase these for for hunting it does come in a leather sheath you can see that these knives come in one sheath single belt loop back here they are a friction fit inside you can push it in just a little bit harder and make it a little bit tougher to get out I personally would not carry these knives like this pounding around in the mountains on a belt I would be too afraid of this one the caping knife falling out because it is pretty short while we're at the caping knife this is a two and three eighths inch blade both of these knives use a N680 steel one thing I really like about these and there's others that are out there like that as well is this deep finger twirl here on the front okay this little knife right here would prove to be I think pretty much invaluable if you were cutting the hide the skin off of a a head of an animal if you wanted to do a European mount on it you have to get in and do quite a bit of intricate cutting you know like around the nose around the eyes and stuff to get the to get the hide off and a little small sharp pointy knife like this is what you're looking for to get that job done these are the scales they are a wood they're not slick as you can see it is a full tang does have the traction up here for your thumb um, to get back to where I was at I would stick this in my backpack or my fanny pack I personally would not carry it on my belt because there is no other retention other than friction and this knife is just a little too short for my liking you know I think it'd work its way and then it'd pop out this one here is called their drop point. Okay, this has a three and a half inch blade, same steel. You can see the, the curvature of the grip, which I like. That is unique to me. I've never owned a knife like that, so that's something else that kind of drew me to these knives. Same steel. Both of these knives did come very, very sharp from the factory. Full tang. I guess this would be considered a full flat ground. There's no stuff on it. This would not be a very good stabbing knife. You know, it has a lot of belly to it. But I think that would be a great food preparation knife right there too. 
but it has a good feel to it. Nice finger twirl up front. Very nice. Uh, from what I've read, this N680 steel is supposed to be very corrosive, corrosion resistant. But I guess a trade-off for that is, is the knife will not hold an edge as well as some other steels. Um, the general consensus is it's a, it's a good steel. It will take an edge very, very well. But as far as, you know, uh, holding an edge for, you know, an extended period of time, apparently not. But I mean, th to me, that's just kind of common sense, you know. If a knife will take an edge pretty easily, well, the, the steel is going to be a little softer. If you have a harder steel, that's a son of a gun to get an edge on, but it will hold its edge longer. I personally would rather have to sharpen my knife a little more often and have it take the edge nicer and easier than a harder steel that whenever it does come time to be sharpened, you know, it's a pain in the butt to get that edge on it. Got the holes up here. Not real sure why those are there. I guess, you know, for a, for a lanyard or whatever. I don't know. But I thought that this was very nice. Very nice looking in the pictures. It got good reviews. And I just, I like the look of the sheath. I like the way the knives look stacked in there. Kind of gives you the best of both. You know, you can use either one for, for whatever. You know, I would, you know, use this one to, to gut with. You know, bigger uh, skinning operations, you know, on the body and what have you. And whenever you want the more intricate work, you can pull that little booger out right there. So, anyway, Lone Wolf, owned by Benchmade. Um, I, I, I understand that Lone Wolf is still being made in the, in the Lone Wolf factory, but it's just under the ownership direction so on and so forth of Benchmade. They are American made as you saw, so we'll see how they go. Um, as far as the, the finish and the feel of them, I really like them. I like the sheath, everything about them. So that's just a real quick look at it. Thanks for watching. Appreciating all the new subs. Y'all take care. We'll see ya.